gonna do for you. Hi, can I get a venti ice caramel? <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Can I get a venti ice americano? A venti ice americano. Anything else for you? No, that'll be all. Thank you. Alrighty, the title is gonna be 387. We'll see you at the window. Thanks. Hi, everyone. Um, so I normally get um, ice caramel macchiato, especially when I come to Starbucks. But I don't know if you guys are as updated, but I recently went to McDonald's and they have uh, ice caramel macchiato there as well. Um, which wasn't very good. Um, you know, having Starbucks ice caramel macchiato as like my, I guess my standard because the only ice caramel macchiato I've ever had. It wasn't very good. I, it wasn't. And I didn't like it that much. But anyways, I've been trying to cut um, some calories from getting consuming calories from these sugary drinks uh, and like milk actually ice caramel macchiato shouldn't be that bad um compared to like mcdonald's coffee because they put a lot of cream uh, whereas in ice caramel macchiato they put um milk instead so it shouldn't be as bad but still i wanted to cut some calories from um drinks uh, so i got iced americana today I kind of wish I got something hot because I didn't realize it was going to snow this much this morning which is great um, because it's finally snowing in winter um, but at the same time it's just like ah, uh, you know thinking about the traffic always oh, kind of you know it's messy guys <clears throat> so what time is it right now it's 12 31 oh, i should get back soon but anyways i came out of the office to stop by Julasco and because i wanted to pick up some uh, cherry tomatoes for tomorrow i should have enough for today um but i purposely came to Julasco expecting it to be cheaper than whole foods but <laughs> Like, I remember getting whole, um, the same one from Whole Foods for half the price because I had the Amazon Prime. But this was like $7, which I was kind of pissed about. Well, I'm not pissed, but just like, eh, you know, what a poop. Anyways, um, but another reason why I came is because I really wanted to get, um, I want to stock up on gum because when I'm driving home, I always have like a pack here. But, um, because, you know, I'm usually really hungry and the drive is usually long and I don't want to, like, eat anything else, um, besides the gum <laughs> because I have to eat dinner, you know? So I purposely, um, but, you know, I, I ran out so I wanted to restock on this so that this one's gonna stay here and um, maybe I'll take half into the office. Um, and yeah, that's for me. Um, anyways, uh, today's going by pretty fast. I have a lot to do, um... And I'm, I feel like at this point in my vlog, a lot of you guys might wonder why... Like, you, know, you guys might have questions about, like, you know, what I'm doing, like, why I started to... Uh, why I got a job and all that, which I'll explain and talk about um, at the end of the day uh, when I'm you know, at home sitting down with my dinner. Um, so, yeah, be a little patient with me, please. My hair is going everywhere. Today might not have been the best day to come out because it's been just windy and like past couple of days in Chicago was like 50s. It was really nice, but it's not a good thing. But anyways, um, today's been kind of snowy as you guys saw in the beginning of the vlog and today it's kind of cold and windy. <laughs> um, so it might not have been the best day to come out, but you know, I just, maybe I'll, I'll just stay in tomorrow. But anyways, my fingers are disgusting. Ugh, I don't even want to show you guys this. It's so gross, but... I should get my fingers cleaned. But yeah, that it's my lunch break. I'm gonna go back into the office and wash my tomatoes and get more water. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, um, I have to focus on driving, so I'm going to talk very, very fast. Um, I did finish work and I am about to head home. Uh, it seems like there will be traffic, which I was hoping there weren't gonna be. Um, but it's probably the weather too it's because it's snowing everyone's driving very carefully very careful um carefully i don't know 
anyways um yes i am heading home i was going to pick up some korean fried chicken korean style fried chicken um from like a i don't know some restaurant on my way but it seems like you know because there's traffic i'm not going to i'm going to go straight home i'm actually gonna order it in from uh ponchon uh, in chinatown because i live by chinatown so it, it usually comes really really quick so towards the end of uh, so when i'm closer to home i'm going to order it um so that hopefully by the time i'm home they'll be on their way to give me the goodies <laughs> yeah so i'm going to focus on driving the weather is getting crappier <laughs> um but let me tell you this is the real chicago weather um so yeah welcome <laughs> As always, look at these terrible, terrible traffic. Hi, Poopy. Hi, hi. Okay, we're gonna sit here. Okay, we're gonna sit here. I miss you. I miss you so much. I miss you, my little bear, my world. Hi, Mr. World. Hi, I missed you. Oh my goodness. What you say? What you say? What are you saying? Oh, stop! Are you pushing me, are you pu are you pushing me away? Huh? Are you pushing me away? Huh? Hey, baby. Good boy. Okay. Can mommy go pee? Yes. <laughs> Delicious. I love you. This one is like a mud. Um, so this one is like um, I saw it for the first time today. It's a frozen mozzarella Korean style hot dog. So it looks like that. Mmm. Mmm. I thought I could microwave it just a little longer. Then I'll do the stretchy thing. What is this? I'm gonna do it back here. Mmm. Oh, I should make another one. Mmm. up not getting fried chicken because I feel like it was a little too expensive for myself and I know for a fact that Pung doesn't really like fried chicken that much mm. oh, it's so good. I got that he doesn't hate it but he's not like a huge fan of it like it's not worth it for me
Maybe next time I'll just make them at home, but today I just didn't feel like cooking anything. cheese in here. get with ketchup more because I think the tteokbokki sauce kind of kills the hot dog mm. a little bit of hot dog in it anyways I was, in, I was waiting in line and I just like picked this up pick this up it's black and white nappers I don't know I don't want to get it wrong I don't know where it's from <laughs> um but I actually was craving this so much and I was like ready to like make this because it gets a little messy but now that I'm home I really don't want to make it I was just already made or somebody like my mom's home to make some for me stop it Anyways, I should pause this or like lower the volume a little bit. So you guys might be wondering, like, I don't know, maybe not, maybe you guys can do a shit. <laughs> but I started working about a month ago, like I said in the beginning of the video. It's a 9 to 5 job, Monday through Friday. Um... There are a lot of reasons why I started looking for a job and what made up my mind to stick with it. Um, I know it's only been a month but you know I'm planning to st stick to it no matter you know what. But one of the main reasons why, there are many reasons and I'm pretty sure one of the reasons why you guys are assuming is part of it. But one of the biggest reasons why I really wanted to have a job was because I wanted to learn something new. Like, I felt like me staying at home, um, I mean, in a way, I guess I could, I could have, you know, definitely I could have learned something new at home myself or take classes or something like that. But it wasn't as motivating and like, I don't know, I just couldn't get myself to do it. So I wanted to get a job, learn something, and learn something different that I that is only useful at work. You know what I mean? Like, I want to do something different, challenge myself, and you know, being able to work in the office is just kind of like a bonus. You get paid, and you learn something new. You kind of improve yourself in a way. brain going to be honest 
this just goes for, my, for myself but you know i don't think i was doing anything too creative on my channel it was just kind of getting really repetitive and and i was just not as motivated and happy to do it anymore you know it's been like five years four years i don't know and i was just so tired of doing the same thing like even though i try to switch up the contents it was just you know same well i miss the days where youtube was my like psychic like my hobby something i enjoyed doing because i enjoyed it more than it's my more than you know like it being my main source of like income you know and you know basically i think i just got like you know let's say that you guys are at this job for like four or five years you you're bound to kind of like at least like get a pro get promotion or find a different job different like responsibilities i think i was just at that point now i wanted to learn something new do something a little different so the thing with ame i know you guys might be wondering like what about ame like you know i know tone works too actually our schedule works out falls down falls on falls very well because you know, since he's a general manager at a restaurant he works mostly at night and mine's eight to five ame is home at most four or five hours like that's like exaggerating four or five hours um and i'd say four or five hours because both of us live pretty far from our jobs our commute is kind of long but once we move in a couple of months woohoo <laughs> um our commute should be like quarter if not a fifth hopefully um so he's just not gonna be it might be a good rest good break for him from all of us so um yeah it works out really well and there are days where like both of us are gone the whole day then i take extra time to drop him off at my parents house because they come home earlier they're home longer So that works out, which that was one of the main thing that I was really worried about was Ame. You know, ever since Ame, I had Ame, he was never really home alone before um, for that long time. And I was really afraid that, you know, like if Tom had the 8 to 5 job as well, you know, like he's going to be home so long and I don't, and he's, he's like an old he's not old but he's more of like a young adult and he grew up with me being home home all the time so i was really scared that it might be something completely different from what he grew up with but it works out really well this stock is supposed to have like mozzarella but i don't really like it it's very like I don't know how to explain it. It's very blah. Okay, I am totally not feeling it. Well, I feel like eating it, but I don't feel like making it. But let's do this. On my hand, some oil. Yum. It tastes so much better if the hot dog comes out very, very flat and skinny. Of course, you don't want to like pop it open because you know you want to keep all the sugar inside. Mmm. Mm. About the duck, be careful. Sugar, very hot. <laughs> But, I'm not going to tell you that. 820. Uh, I'm going to start cleaning up a little. Um, 
Oh, anyways, do you want to see this? And it's so cute. My brother in law gave it to me. This is one of the Christmas gifts he gave me. And I thought it was perfect for me to have, especially in the morning, because I like to start off my day with water, but I don't want to drink cold water or hot water. I like lukewarm, and this is perfect. I'm going to finish this one and then oh my god I made it so good it's so evened out but I gotta say though it's not the same as um, eating the ones from Korea they just make it so thin and crispy and just so good Oh, so hot but anyways i hope you guys oh i should turn this off this honestly kind of completes my 24 hour because after this i'm gonna sleep and wake up and yeah in 24 hours in like next couple of hours i'm just getting ready anyways um so if you guys like this make sure to give this a thumbs up let me know how you guys liked it i will continue hopefully i had fun today um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. If I, uh, I'm trying to upload one for New Year's Day. If I don't, Happy New Year's. Um, but I most likely will. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.